leaving Germany, the, the weather is very nice as it's been lately. Uh, but I hear it's sunny and beautiful in Holland. I guess we're going to find out. Christy is continuing to work on the netting. Do you think you'll be there for the rest of your life? Well, uh, after this one I have one more on this side and then I'll be on the other boat for the rest of my life. <laughs> I see. But um, it's looking pretty good. I mean, this is obviously still too high. But it's a bit better and yeah, obviously we're not going to fall under there. Only pliers and wrenches and screwdrivers and not this line. It's staying on the I just uh, removed this beautiful piece of teak wood. That's supposed to hold uh, the outboard here on the on the railing and as you can see the screws are I have no idea how these screws come in there somebody must have magically wizarded them in there I don't know anyway this is removed because this thing here will be the wind generator mast that we are that we want to mount here so it'll be standing up here um, yeah, I'm, I'm test fitting it now. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the wind generators, a uh, wind generator is a device that if there's a lack of wind, it'll uh, create wind so that you can finally move again and don't have to float around there with no wind, which would be really frustrating. So we're looking forward to this. So this is the uh, wind generator mast. Currently only attached to the railing but we'll figure something out there. So the next step is to put the wind generator on it to test how it looks and stuff. Yeah, and the sun is coming out a bit. I forgot to put the beer in the refrigerator. Ah, uh, yeah. I can do it. Okay. How do you do it usually? Um, I fill the, the bucket halfway with seawater Okay. And then I would put four beers in it and then submerge it so that the water in the bucket is at the same level as the water outside the bucket. You know? Let's do a how to refrigerate your beer Christie style. generator is ready to hoist.
So, I'm at the top of the mast. Let me explain to you how we do this. 50 centimeters. So the next step would be up there. So next step will be to drill a hole in the spot where I want it to be. Somewhere there. Next I'm taking the rivet. Oh, rivet sits in the mast step. And I'm going to use the rivet gun. That's how the first rivet comes in. Then I can screw and attach the bottom one. So there's the bottom hole. This one I'm going to rivet now too. So, hello everyone. If you're new, then welcome to our channel. Um, we just wanted to update you on some projects that we've finished and what we're doing. It's really a beautiful day here in Holland. It's sunny and warm and it feels like spring. It must be a miracle. So, uh, what we finished is we finished um, the netting that goes around the boat is finished and it looks really good and Thomas has drilled a couple new holes in the side and they've been um, primed for paint to help hold the netting down and also for drainage it'll be really nice to have a couple extra and we've also managed to wash off all the green slime that was hidden all around the edge here at the bottom there is this layer of thick green mildew and the previous owners had a bunch of random lines that were tied all around the edges that were quite old and decomposing one of them actually um, a spider had laid her eggs in it and they all began began to hatch while I was trying to untie and melt off the decomposing lines. There was also um, a quite old uh, teak fender board here which is a way to be um, sealed and painted. I just wanted to share a little detail we have on our boat right before we go for a little evening sail which we will do very soon. So we have a hang on sail. So roller further or anything for us but I actually think that it's a pretty cool thing and we can hoist and drop the sail right from from the cockpit as anybody with a roller furler could because we run this little line here this is just a line it's a bit dirty at the moment from the winter and this runs here to the front this is it over this little block just as if you would have these pilot lines or the control lines for the furler but here it travels over this block up and is attached to the head of the sail so what do we do we actually hoist this this uh, this uh, furling line up into the to the mast when we hoist the sail and then when we want to drop the sail we actually just pull it down with this with this furling line so if you have a hang on sail you should definitely set up something like this it's really amazing saves you so much trouble okay the weather is awesome i think we go for a little round sail
so cold that it just <laughs> makes your body immediately just... Okay. <sighs> nice. 